Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a barbershop, also known as a hair cutting emporium. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Watch until the very end of the video to see where we place the barbershop in the city. This is the amount of space required to make the barbershop. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing a light grey terracotta on the ground. Extend one row backwards, one row to the right. Dig in the ground four rows to the right, one, two, three, four. Place light grey terracotta in those rows. On the end, place a light grey terracotta, extend right, forwards, then continue extending right one, dig in the ground to the right and place either a black or a white concrete powder with a spruce door on top, then place a light grey terracotta right of the door. We then want to place four terracotta on top of our light grey terracotta, one, two, three, four, Extend left two, one, two, and then down. Terracotta above the door with a light blue stained glass pane above that. We then want to place a row of terracotta left of this and make it one row higher, like so. Extend the terracotta one row forwards, also. Then place terracotta on top of the light grey terracotta here. Then we want to place two rows of light blue stained glass pane on top of the row of light grey terracotta in the ground, and then terracotta above the glass pane extending all the way up until it is equal and level with the row to the right. Then we will build up the rows of terracotta to the left of this on top of the light grey terracotta, including the row at the front, which will give us this. Next, we are going to remove a row of grass in front of this window and replace it with smooth stone. That will then allow us to place flower pots either side with ferns inside of the flower pots. Above this window area, we will place alternating white and blue walls, which we will then extend one row forwards and then one row upwards. We then want to extend the back row up by one, just like this. Then in front of the door we will place brown carpet, spruce trapdoors above the door, lanterns hanging next to it, just like this. Which then moves us on to the next part, the dreaded sign, which requires us to throw down a loom, open it up place a blue banner in there with some white dye and the objective is to write out barber in plain letters so the first letter is b so pale dexter chief fess face pale sinister b next would be a pale dexter pale sinister chief fess a next would be r pale dexter chief Bent. Next would be B again, but we already have one, so instead it is E. Pale Dexter, Chief, Fess, Base. And then we would have R again, but we already have it, so we are able to place B, A, R, B, E, R on top of our different coloured walls to give us Barber. Then we never need this again. On the right side of the build, extend the light grey terracotta backwards by seven rows. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place a terracotta on top, and then a free light blue stained glass pane. One, two, three, extending left. Add another row on top, then extend the terracotta upwards and forwards to meet the terracotta that we have at the front of the build, just like so. Then on the back of the build, we want to extend the light grey terracotta all the way over to the right, and then join forwards to the front of the build. We then want to place terracotta on top of the light grey terracotta until it is equal and level to this shorter row on the right side of the build. So, we want to have something which should look like this. Notice that the sign area is separate all unto itself. Next, we are going to remove all of the grass inside of the build and replace it with a checkered pattern of white concrete powder and black concrete powder. My recommendation would be to place all of one and then the other. I just find it easier that way. Maybe you prefer a different way, but honestly, I find this one a little bit more satisfying. Next, we are going to place smooth stone slabs for the roof. This is going to be placed half a row below the top of the roof line, not including the sign area. On the right side of the build, we want to make the classic barbershop sign. So this is going to be a red concrete placed here with a white concrete underneath, light blue concrete underneath that, and smooth stone slabs below and above. It also reminds me of toothpaste. We will then remove all of the remaining grid and grass block surrounding our barbershop and replace it with smooth stone. On the right side of the build, we are going to add some interesting plant pots by placing a composter here in this position. Leave a gap, composter, leave a gap, composter. There we go. Then we are going to fill said composters all the way up to the top using ferns until we reach, hang on. We don't want to go too far. This point, there we go. So it looks like we've got gravel in the plant part. There we go, that's absolutely perfect. And then carefully place pots on top with ferns inside of the pots. And I think it just kind of like adds to the balance of the build. With the entire outside of the barbershop made, we can now head inside and work on the interior. Step one, we actually have to build up the area around the door with terracotta and light gray terracotta. Place a bell above the new door area. And next to this, an armor stand outfitted with a hat and a tunic and a trip wire hook to the right of it. Next, I'm going to place two bookshelves in this corner one, two, with a green carpet on top, and then spruce stairs to the right and spruce signs right of these stairs, and then two more stairs, one, two, extending in the opposite direction with a spruce sign next to these stairs. Then along this wall, we are going to place a bunch of one by one. We might not be able to place it correctly because of that carpet. We want to place a bunch of one by two, rather, paintings all of which are going to be, we, we will either have four or three of them. Initially, I did want to have like one painting and then the other and then repeat, but I kind of like that we have like two of one on one side and two of the other on the other side. So that kind of works out nicely for me. Okay, lastly, along this wall, we are going to place a spruce plank, smithing table, two spruce plank, smithing table, spruce, plank just like this. Next I'm going to place an item frame here 
And here, with shears inside of the item frame, and they can each face a different way. With grey carpet on top of the remaining spruce planks. Spruce signs in front of the spruce planks. With a lantern in each one of the two corners of these walls. We then want to dig in front of the smithing tables. Two rows down and place a redstone block with a piston on top. Then dark oak trapdoors flipped up and backwards from the piston with dark oak signs aside the flipped up trapdoors. Just like this. And there we go. We have two chairs. Remember earlier when I said that we wouldn't need the loom or the dies anymore? I was wrong. So, throw down a loom. Open it up, place a light blue banner in there with some white dye and apply the bend pattern. Throw light blue dye in there and apply a gradient pattern, it doesn't matter which one. Then apply black dye and the bourgeois pattern. Then simply place these in front of each one of the chairs on the wall and boom, there we go. And that ladies and gentlemen is the end of this tutorial. However, it's not the end of the video. We must now take our barbershop and add it into our city. This might seem a little bit random, but I feel as though that the perfect spot for the barbershop is right here next to the pizzeria. It's kind of a perfect size plot. It's right next to the suburbs, and you can get yourself some pizza once you've finished, and also play on the train tracks. And that's it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to make anything else by me, whether that is cartoon, movie, video game, or city related, check out the mini city builds playlist down below in the description. It has so many things for you to make, almost 100 tutorials in there for you to follow along and make a really awesome city. Not limited to a lot of things that you have seen as I'm walking around right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.